Welcome, Gemini Cancer, to your end of the month reading for May. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. And the end of the month of May. We are getting ready for the Mercury retrograde to start. It will be a May 29th through June 22nd. So... And being that you have that Gemini in you, I can only imagine good things are going to probably happen for you. Um, it is, uh, of course, they do deal with karma, so you never know exactly, but actually Gemini doesn't really have any problems with uh, retrograde. And just keep positive towards it and keep that good energy going. Okay. See what's going on with you. Having the Seven of Pentacles is talking about that patiently planting your seeds over here. Hard work and growth and watching things come in for you right now. Wow, see? So already talking about that Mercury retrograde and it looks like you're already having all this progress and successful dealings and things coming your way. So very nice. And clarifying on the Seven of Pentacles. This card's not just going to clarify on the Seven of Pentacles, but the entire reading. Patience. Use a little patience. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, with the, you know, sometimes you have to patiently wait for things to grow, right? But at least the good thing is, is it's showing that it is growing. It is coming in. It is It is succeeding. It's not upside down, which means your fruits that, you know, that you're waiting for um, are coming into ripen right so and just waiting for those to be able to pluck i guess you could say <laughs> if you're just taking it from the card right plucking your success plucking your coins plucking your prosperities okay now getting into the situation the situation is taking place in the present the recent past and the near future Cancer, what do you have? Ten of coins coming in. See, there it is. So, you know, you might have planted seven and maybe the success is so great that you get ten. Okay. Ooh, it could be love for some of you. Great Gemini card coming out. So maybe it's love. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's both. Oh, coming out. Okay. And then you have a tower coming in the near future. Well, we'll figure out why, right? Okay, going over here to the love, it's like you're planting what you love. That's exactly what I see, right? And you're over here just continuing to wait, being patient. Maybe you're being patient, Gemini uh, Cancer, also waiting for this love to come in. Could be also waiting for another Gemini. Or you're just waiting for your heart's desire, looking to see what you want with your heart's desire. Some of you are waiting for a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. That is a Piscean card. So maybe you are actually planting seeds towards a, a love interest. Um, for others of you who are like, nope, no love. Um, that it's definitely this progress of this uh, either money or material dealings, right? It could even be business dealings, which then end up as money. Um, or just working towards whatever your heart's desire is. Maybe you're looking at this new car. Right? Or a boat. We've got water over here. You know, looking for something that's going to keep you emotionally um, on top of the water. So much to say, right? Um, and maybe you're just waiting to get back to your heart's desire of getting back to that boat in the water, at the lake. It's getting warm, right? Coins coming in could also be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. This is a Capricorn card. But however it is, let's just, you know, getting down to the roots of the matter over here. What it is, is it's really whatever your heart's desire is, no matter what the situation is, love or any of those things, this is where you're looking down into your cups. You're staying loyal and true to yourself with the King of Cups and really nurturing the situation and really nurturing what it is that I want. 
and staying true and loyal to yourself about this heart's desire. So when you planted these seeds and now you're waiting for them to come up, you put in all this hard work. And it's not just hard work. It's literally from your heart, straight from your heart chakra, straight from what you want. Nothing was going to stop you. No, see, nothing's going to stop you with the chariot coming out. Nothing is going to take you away from what your heart desires is. You are going after what it is you want. Wow, beautiful. So going to the Ten of Pentacles over here, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is saying, hey, look, this is coming in fast. So whatever it is that you worked hard on and that you planted over here, your success and progress is coming in quickly. Right now in the present. So you probably are starting to pluck some of these these uh, coins over here off the, the vine, we'll say, right? Yeah. Getting yourself happy, getting yourself, um, could even be putting out even more intentions out there. Um, with the sun, the sun, when you're talking about chakras, it's got all three of those, those vital, um, first three chakras, right? Red, orange, yellow. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely talking about the vitality, the desire, the intentions, going after the things that make us the happiest, knowing that what you're doing makes you feel like the sun. It makes you feel like a star. It makes you feel like you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And you're doing your soul's purpose. The sun is the soul's purpose. So you do feel like you're on the destined path of what you wanted to be on. Um, and this could be even keeping your family happy. Um, however it is, this is very happy. And you're going to have a lot of energy. So you're going to feel a lot more energized as you're getting these coins coming towards you. Now, are you going to get all of the ten of coins all together or all the seven of coins all together? No, probably not. I mean, this is, you know, reality, right? Probably not, but you're probably seeing them coming in little by little. So that way you can make it all the way to the succession, right? So if your business is doing very good and you see some coins coming in, right? It just means you're going, these are happy days. We're going to get more of this. We're going to get more customers. We're going to get, you know, more sales. And if this is love, you're just going to build the love. Right? And if it's just loving what you do, this is the first step to getting to actually get to do what you want. And you know it. Like, wow, I got to do this. Now I really want more. And that's really what the sun is, too. I want more. Because I can have it. Of course you can have it. You have ten of coins. It's, trans it's a transformation in such a huge way, Gemini Cancer, that you probably haven't seen a transition like this in a while, right? Because it, it's completely transitioning itself. Um, so you don't have to worry anymore about the things that you no longer um, either don't want or worrying about whether or not this is going to go back anytime soon because I don't feel like it's going back. I don't care about the tower over here. Don't even worry about that right now because that means nothing to me, right? Right now, what it is, it's transitioning into the power that you need. And it could even be the freedom, whatever the sun is for you, right? All of those things. Freedom is a big one. And maybe you do feel free and it feels like whatever it was, you said, yes, finally, we get to bury that. I don't want it. I get to transition away from it. And I get to plant more seeds. Wow, seven of coins again, like I said, because it's just the beginning of this uh, success and progress. Okay. You have the tower over here. The tower doesn't have to be a horrible, terrible scenario, right? We have to understand just because we let go or just be, because something crumbles doesn't mean that it has to be, oh my God, my whole life is going to die. I'm losing everything. No, the tower has a lot of inspiration. It's a necessary change that is coming in the near future because you're planting more seeds. This is the necessary change that you've been looking for. It's all about the patience though. So you wanted this change. Here's the change in the present. So you get this necessary change, right? No longer feeling oppressed. No longer feeling imprisoned. No longer feeling yeah, trapped, right? Because I said you feel what? Free. We 
getting away from the things that made you feel like you couldn't go anywhere, that you were stuck. You now have the freedom. Allow that to change. Allow that to happen. And even if it's something that you're like, mm, I'm not sure if I really want that piece, because what if it's a different piece, right? What if it's something a little bit different? Spirit says, let it go. It's not worth it. Because you have all of this coming in to change all of this for your, your happiness, for your freedom. This is not necessary. You can just let that crumble. It's okay. Because you're going to get so much more. Because that's not needed. So going to the tower in the near future, allowing this beautiful change to happen. And yes, sometimes change is scary, you know, if it's something like that, right? And then sometimes, and if for others of you, it's just like, yeah, let that shit go, right? Because that's what was blocking me. That's what's oppressing me. That's what's keeping me away. So it's going to be a little bit different from everyone. It is going to give you a little anxiety because it is falling away. It is a change. So a lot of you are going to feel like even though you have all of this, this over here, maybe you're so um, comfortable with it or it's something you're so used to that even though you know you don't want it, um, it's still going to give you anxieties. Why is that? Why is that? It's because of the comfortableness. So even though you know it might oppress you and hold you back or do things, you might still feel like this is the way life really is. So maybe I'm still trying to hold on to that um, even though I know I, it needs to go away, right? But that's okay because you'll get intuitive enough to understand that the new directions that are coming towards you are taking over and this is not needed, right? It's kind of like having a broken down couch. That couch is comfortable. I really love this couch. Then you're going to bring me a new couch and it's like, oh, I know it's brand new, but I really love that couch, right? But you're like, it's broken. We don't need that. It just... And, you know, and every time you sit in it, you know, it's got that, that dent in it. And then sometimes it makes you mad when you fall into that dent. <laughs> and you're always saying, I need a new couch. Now you're getting it. Now you're saying, but I really like the couch. There's, you know, but no, now, now you're going to look at it from a different point of view. And you're going to say, you know what? Screw the couch. I got this new one. This one's cool. Things are coming better. Wow. With the queen of wands. So for some of you, could be having... Um, you know, this fire sign could be, a, some of you could be a Leo coming towards you. However it is, um, take it how it resonates, but you do have this queen of wands over here that's saying no, because then you can get more creative. You can get, um, you know, you can have more desires. They're playful. They're loyal, you know, and if it's just yourself, it's just that creativity, that loyalty, that fun, that courageousness. And yes, have a little courage. Look at it from another way and say, you know what? It's okay. I don't really need that anyways. I have the courage to let that go. And for some of you, you might even be letting a Leo go, you know, for maybe this Capricorn or this Pisces or somebody else, right? Or this Scorpio. God, there's so many signs, guys. You know, and maybe you didn't really want to let this person go. Maybe they were a friend that you know that you don't need to have in your life because they bring you down um, and you have upcomings. And so this person kind of holds you back. Think of it that way too, right? Like I said, everybody's situation is a little bit different, but it doesn't matter in the end once you let it go because you know it doesn't suit you anymore and it's holding you back. You will have the Ace of Cups. And that's what Spirit's really letting you know. I did all of this, so it doesn't matter. You know, if you're in a restaurant and you own, you own all these old pots and pans, let them go, my friends, right? Those old pots, you got new pots and pans. I don't, you know, I've had these for 20 years, though, and they mean a lot. No one cares, right? Let it go because you're getting new pots and pans, and look what you get, the Ace of Cups. Believe me, in the end, everything's going to be better. I can use a thousand scenarios, right? But in the end, it's all going to end up the same. Let's see what the angels have to say. So it's beautiful. It's just going to be patience, having patience, waiting for things to come in. Yeah, 
because of the opportunities. Look at the opportunities. The opportunities are showing it over here with the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles twice, the Sun, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Coins. <sighs> Uh-oh, here we go, right? Yep. Because there's something better. That's why you're letting go. So in the near future, this is there's something better. So let that fall. Let that tower go because you don't need it. It holds you back. It's not needed. There is something absolutely better. And we know what it is, my friends. The Ace of Cups. And that's all it is for you, my friends, okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.